lovers? How are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video because I'm going to be reviewing some products from Fullbrow. They are a cosmetics company based in Australia and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their products and I said yes. So I have had them in front of me the last two to three weeks, um, just testing them out, using them every single day so that I could give you guys a solid review on the products. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. They have super, super cute packaging, like the box that it comes in says, hey cutie, and then all of the actual cardboard packaging as well is super, super cute and fun and colorful. So I really appreciate that like little touch to the products. Um, so I have five products to share with you guys and they actually sent like a full on pamphlet for every product. And I appreciate this so much. It makes it so easy. It tells you exactly what it's, um, good for the different shades, the retail price in Australian dollars, US dollars, and euros. So, um, this is amazing. I love that so, so much. So everything that's in my eyebrows today is from Full Brow. So as I talk about each product, I'm going to go ahead and insert clips just so you guys can see them in action. The very first thing I want to talk about is the brow wax. And this is where the pamphlet came in handy because I've never used a brow wax before. I've seen them in different eyebrow kits. I've seen people buy them, but I'm just like, what am I going to really do with a brow wax? So personally, I can't speak to the quality of this in comparison with anything else because this is the first brow wax I've ever tried but I do really really like it so this retails for 14 US dollars and personally I just use my finger I just dab a little bit and then I brush it through my eyebrows and it's literally like glue for your eyebrows if you have ever done drag makeup and you put glue, a glue stick through your brows and it like really lays them down puts them exactly where you want them to go that's what this does but in the nicest way possible and I really really appreciate that because I already do have a lot of brow hair so I feel like this is amazing because it gives me the perfect shape it puts everything in place and I feel like it makes my eyebrows a little bit more smooth to put apply product on top of and not as coarse so the pamphlet does say that it's formulated with castor oil to nourish and condition your brows so I definitely appreciate that and then it says you can apply before powder for an HD look or after to seal and I just like applying it before and I also really like the packaging I think it's just a cute teal shade it's simple but it does the job so I really like that so the next product is the powder finish brow crayon it just looks like this they do have it in two shades they have light and dark I went ahead and got light because I have red hair and I really do like this I think it's kind of a unique pencil it's a very very soft formula and it looks very very natural I think that all these products are really great for someone who already has brows um, if you already have a lot of hair and you just want to add something super natural through them I think that this is really really nice the thing that I really find most interesting about this brow pencil is that where you would normally find a spoolie they have like a little brush and it says that there is 62 unique micro bristles in this brush and it's very interesting. I was a little bit just scared to try it at first but I feel like it actually does blend out your brow product really really well for a super natural look and it's just such a interesting little product. Um, as opposed to a spoolie. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. So I do like this brow um, crayon. So this brow pencil retails for 16 US dollars. And let me see, is there anything else interesting on here? Oh, it has a pop-out sharpener. Oh, okay. So whenever you pop off the cap as well, there is a sharpener. So you can actually sharpen the brow pencil. Um, so that's really cool. I did not even realize that was there. I've just been using it um, as it goes. So that's another nice little touch. I like it. I think it's um, a, definitely more of an innovative product. Okay, so the next product is the Brighten Up Eye Cream and it just looks like this. I feel like this is a really great size because you only need a little bit of product each day. Um, I have been using this every single day. Sometimes I do it before I start my brows and sometimes I do it in the middle just depending on if I remember to use it or not because um, I don't, it's not like routine for me to use eye cream every single day. So I'm trying to get into it and remember to do it. But I don't know if I can say that there's any long-term lasting effects from using this eye cream that I've seen, but I will say that after it soaks in, um, I have noticed that my under eyes feel very smooth, very soft, very plump, so I feel, think it does feel really nice under the eyes. Let me see. It retails for $27. US dollars. Um, it says it has a blurring effect to kiss fine lines goodbye, brightens lips and adds a healthy glow, filled with good ingredients like rosemary extract and powerful antioxidants. They also say that you can use this product before or after makeup, but I just use it before. 
Okay, so the next product I want to talk about is their brow powder. It just looks like this. It has super cute packaging as well with a little coral background. This retails for 16 US dollars and it does say that it is vegan friendly. It's the only product I see here that does say vegan friendly. Um, they are all cruelty free though. And the unfortunate thing about this is that it only comes in four shades. I grabbed the shade taupe. They have blonde, taupe, natural brown, and dark. And on their website, they say that they have a limited amount of shades just to keep it more simplistic so you're not overwhelmed trying to find your shade for your brows. And that sounds nice in theory, but as a redhead, I would really love to see a redhead shade. I feel like every brow company, like, <laughs> they just forget that redheads exist or they give us a red and it's literally like this shade of red and I'm like what are you what are you even doing with your life I don't think it looks too bad overall I normally do go for a taupey brow powder and then sometimes I'll take a warm eyeshadow and just mix it in a little bit I didn't do that today just because I was trying to only use these products so you guys can see what they look like um, and I also used their brow brush in conjunction with the brow powder this is it just okay it doesn't say the name on it and they didn't include a pamphlet for the brow brush but it's actually a pretty nice brush um i really like the color i love that it's like this fun pop of magenta pink and it has the gold writing in it that says full brow and the actual brush is very very tiny and it's very thin i really like a good thin brush so that you can really get in there and make actual hair strokes i feel like if you have a brow brush that's too big you can't get like the precision that you need and then it also has a nice spoolie on it as well so i do like the brow brush and i like the brow powder as well it's pigmented i feel like it works really well on top of the brow wax and it gives a very very natural um look but you can still kind of build it up a little bit um, the only thing else that I have to say about the brow, brow powder is that I don't think I prefer it over my Anastasia brow powder just because um, this has two shades in it and I feel like that helps a lot when you're doing your brows because personally I have the brow struggle okay finding the perfect shade is the struggle because of being a redhead and then I have like my my eyebrow hairs are literally blonde but I have so much hair that it's like trying to find the perfect shape but not filling everything in because if I filled all my hairs in it would just like other people who have full brows but have darker brows like it looks really nice when they add just a little bit of product but if I don't add any product in the front it looks super funny but if I add too much product like immediately it looks like boxy brows so it's the struggle and I feel like having two shades in one compact really helps because I always go in with the lighter shade in the front and then the darker shade on the tail. So that's one thing like with this, I would definitely suggest maybe grabbing two shades. Like if I were going to go ahead and buy another one, I would grab the shade blonde, the one down, and I would use that to do like um, more of a gradient. But I do like the powder. I think that the formula is good. So I'm just hoping to see more shades. And also I think it's cool that this one is vegan, so if you buy vegan makeup only and you don't have a brow powder that's holy grail, you could definitely go ahead and try that out. Alright, so those are all the products that I tried from Full Brow. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown really quickly um, because I love trying new products. This video is not sponsored or anything like that. Like I said, they did send me the product, but that does not change my opinion at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!